Wednesday morning. How are you? Um, everything here is well. Matter of fact, I think I've hit over 650 subscribers now. Thank you. I know a lot of you aren't here for this, but many of you are, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much for tuning in. Something I did back in 2016. Um, a lot of you may be familiar, some of you may not. Uh, World of Warcraft is a thing. I play World of Warcraft still. Um, they just dropped a big patch update yesterday that did a couple of, of nice things but um anyway but in 2016 i was part of a beta for one of the expansions so i was able to go in as a hunter and a hunter is a character that can go and tame various pets that are in the wild so what i did was i went searching and found various pets and tamed them and, and did a video showing how to tame them and this was back in 2016 when i first started this whole uh, run of uh, YouTube silliness. I, I looked yesterday um, and I'll be darned if that video hadn't creeped up. 30 additional people had watched it like yesterday. <laughs> it just cre creeped back up into my, here's how many views you had today. Or you're like the top three most viewed things of the day. And that one was creeping back up for whatever reason, people getting back into World of Warcraft because the new uh, there was a new patch that did some quality of life stuff. I don't think it did anything significant, but it did do a couple of things. Mm. The maple bacon is back and is going to make coffee. But so yeah, that was kind of fun. I'm gonna do about 35 grams today. 36.4. <laughs> Whichever comes first, I guess. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was just very funny because I was just looking. And I'm like, wow, that because it's a, uh, it's it, there's no. I'm not speaking in it. I, I, it's all text based. It's all I typed out what I was doing, where I was going. Um, tried to show you know different things that were happening and whatnot uh, through text. I thought that that would be easier and more accessible because a lot of different people play Warcraft. Um, so I tried to just make it as straightforward with text as possible. So, uh, yeah, and that creeped back up into my, uh, my watched, uh, <laughs> yesterday, which I thought was really funny. So yeah, I mean, everything's, uh, we're going pretty good right now. Um, no issues, no problems that I'm aware of. Uh, gearing up for that uh, Columbia trip. I'm pretty excited about that. We'll be going to an actual coffee plantation, so I'll be taking video of that, and hopefully we can do some cut down raw stuff while we're there, maybe. It uh, depends. I don't know what the internet situation is gonna be when we're down there. I know that there will be Wi-Fi. I just don't know how well it's going to work. This is like any other hotel. You don't know, you, uh, like if you go to Florida or if you go to, to Phoenix or you go somewhere, you don't, you don't know how the hotel Wi-Fi is gonna be. So, and I don't know how overseas plans are going to be, or, if, you know, we're only gonna be there for four days. So I don't know exactly how all of that's going to work, but we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Um, at the very least, I'll have stuff to, to edit when we come back, you know, for the following week. So, and I'll let you know, probably, I don't know if it's the, well, it won't be the day before. Are we leaving on a Sunday? Yeah, so it'll be like the Thursday before, I guess we'll, we'll talk about the, as we get closer. But um, yeah, so I'll have coffee plantation stuff that I'm gonna, the film while we're down there. It'll, it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Matt mentioned parachuting and I said no. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. That's finally how he's going to off me. Uh, it will be through a parachuting accident. Anyway. All right, we're boiling the water. I've got my maple bacon. You beautiful, beautiful bag of goodness. And I'm gonna blitz that up right now. I've got a medium fine setting that I normally do. Oh wait, you know what? I think we found that this goes through better at a, uh, a coarser setting. So we're gonna go down uh, to a coarser setting, about 25 here, and we'll see how that does. It's a lot like, uh, it'll be a lot like when we went out to that, um, 
that farm, uh, the olive oil farm in um, Arizona, in the Phoenix area. Hopefully it won't be as un... I, I was like, I hopefully we'll be able to go out and see the, the olive trees, but we got there and even in the early morning, it was just unbearably hot and awful. So I'm like, well, let's hope we keep all of this inside. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, that olive oil tour, had, it had a lot of information, which I thought was pretty cool. There has to be a certification in a certain way that you've made the, the olive oil in order for it to be, what was it, extra virgin. Virgin or extra virgin. Um, otherwise, it's olive oil that's been, it, 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 has, it has to be marked on the bottle that the olive oil, uh, the, you know, it's been pressed twice. Sometimes they press olives twice, which is really weird. Sometimes they do it chemically, cold pressed, and, and one press is basically the, the certification you need for it to be virgin or extra virgin olive oil. It's very interesting and delicious. It was really weird. We had an olive oil tasting, which uh, was very, very interesting. And they don't do it with bread. They said if, if anybody shows you their olive oil with bread and um, you taste test it that way, then they're not sure about their olive oil. And they, and, you know, and you should probably be careful uh, with regards to it. Yeah, look, it's got a, I must have filled it up too much. We'll slow down the boil just a little bit. I'm, we're pretty close anyway. And uh, yeah, so it's like, you know, if, if, they're, if they're serving it with bread, you know, or, or cheese or anything like that, they're hiding some tastes. So they're like, if you, wanna, if, you, if you want the full flavor of the olive oil, you just have it without anything. And it was, the, the taste was amazing. Um, with the olive oil, yeah, it just it tasted it tasted good. Um, it just tasted different. And if you held it in your mouth for like five, six, seven seconds and swallowed, you got this very interesting spicy taste, which was very, very fun. Um, that's good enough. So it, you know, olive oil is really cool, and I'm hoping we get the same kind of thing. starter up here hoping we get the same kind of thing at the coffee plantation in Columbia it's fun it'll be a lot of fun and then the next adventure will be down to New Smyrna that that coffee roaster down there we'll, we'll find time to go down there and do that and uh, you know hopefully we'll, we'll be we'll be in the United States, at least still, Florida is still part of the United States still, right? So we'll, um, you know, we'll have at least phones to tether stuff to. But then again, along the beach there, it's not the greatest signal. And we're going to be around the same area. We're not going to be in the same home. We'll be in a different location. So... That's pretty exciting. I did a little extra. I'm going to let this drain a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more and we're gonna get it up to 500 this time. We're gonna get up to 500. We're gonna ramp this sucker up. <laughs> All right. I want coffee. Oop, went a little over, but that's all right. That is something that happens. Thank you, scale. Let's see how our pour down and draw down is. Give it a little bit of a shake here. Not a shake, swirl. It is a swirl. We are swirling our coffee. Didn't even know that was a damn thing until I started this journey almost a year ago. It'll be a year in February. Oh. I've been sleepy. It's been a weird weekend. I, weekend I, I think it's the cold. I blame the cold. It's been very cold. Single digits. I, I know it's colder in a lot of different places, but here it's in the single digits. It just makes you want to curl up and hibernate and not worry about anything for a very long time. <laughs> for, for the entire winter, really. Um, I think bears and other mammals have it right. You know, we should be sleeping a lot, getting up to eat, and then going back to sleep. You know, <laughs> I, think, I think they've got the right idea. Okay, oh, that's a good, that's a good one, about three minutes, including the bloom. Not a bad drawdown. I have to go rewatch the, the Chemex videos to make sure I can see what exactly the drawdown should be and how exactly I should be achieving that, because I could have sworn it was like a four-minute drawdown at some point. 
Um, but it has just been, I've just been doing my own thing now, which, you know, which uh, is, is good. I mean, doing your own thing with help. I mean, that's, that's, I think that's always a good thing, you know? You can ha use use guides, you know, things should guide you, but you know, and ultimately you should come up with something that you feel comfortable with and you enjoy. And you know, this is definitely something that I enjoy. Oh, oh, very, very much. Oh, mm, yeah, we are doing good. We are doing good with the maple bacon. I'd say that's a good, um, the medium, medium coarse grind. I almost said medium harsh. The medium harsh grind, no, the coarse grind, the medium coarse grind definitely makes it, um, makes it more flavorful. If you grind it too, too fine, um, you may get over extracted and make it too bitter, uh, especially with the water flowing through it as slowly as it would. And it would flow through really slowly. Um, it would just be, uh, it'd be like going through mud and that's just not, uh, that's just not good coffee. For me, that's just not good coffee. Maybe some people, other people will think it's good coffee. Who, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I don't speak for you. I speak for me. So, and it is Wednesday. So I hope you have a great Wednesday. We will talk to you tomorrow. We'll do some more coffee. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll get the key lime pie out and we'll have some key lime pie coffee tomorrow. We'll make that up. We'll use this grind setting and that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I apologize that I don't have much to talk about today. I mean, there's just not much going on. Some days there's just nothing. Uh, I guess I could end with this. There was this wonderful place to eat called Fiesta del Rios, and it is on Polaris Parkway. If you're up here in Columbus and you're up on the north side, um, it's called Fiesta del Rios, and I'll put the name up on the screen, and it is at Polaris. Um, if you're f kind of familiar with the area, uh, it's where uh, Blue Santa was, which was a Mexican restaurant. They moved to uh, Westerville from that location. Um, they've got a much better location in Westerville, to be honest. Uh, it's very front and center. But, uh, and then there was another, uh, there was an Indian place there before, and then prior to that Indian place, there was a place called Cumin, which arguably had the best Indian cuisine in that part of town, at the very least. It was, it was great. It was such a great place to eat. And then, you know, I don't know what happens. You know, things happen. I don't know what it is. So Fiesta del Rio. It's uh, a wonderful Mexican restaurant. It's, it's brand new, and we ha I had probably the best pork tamale I'd, I'd ever had in Ohio. Not like just Central Ohio, but in Ohio in general there uh, this past weekend. And then we had these wonderful street tacos, and I don't, know, I don't think they'd be street taco there. It's a double-decker, but it had like guacamole in the middle and had uh, fresh sour cream and uh, tomatoes on top. And I normally am like the first to be like, get those tomatoes off. I don't want tomatoes, <laughs> yuck. Uh, but they were, it was delicious. It was, it, it, it complemented everything. And I don't like guacamole either, but the guacamole in between the, uh, the soft tortilla and the hard tortilla on the inside, um, cause it was a double decker, uh, was just fantastic. And it was just, it was amazing. So if you are in Polaris and you want some wonderful uh, Latin uh, Tex-Mexy kind of food, and I, I, I'm not I, I their menu is pretty big, um, they have a breakfast as well, I think. No, wait, no, they, I know they definitely have lunch that might include some breakfast items, but their menu was very extensive. They have the Sierra Mist, which uh, goes with chips and salsa perfectly. <laughs> so when you get chips and salsa, you order Sierra Mist, and for some reason, it all just go, it all just flows together. But and their chips and salsa were really good, but the, the pork tamale was just, it was just the best. It was not soft. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna say it was, some of, sometimes they're dry. Sometimes you get a pork tamale and the outsides will be dry and then the inside will be kind of moist and delicious, but the outside will be dry. Um, the entire thing was just, <laughs> I don't want to say moist, but it was, well, I guess when you're talking about food, it was, it was all just, it was a beautiful moist tamale. And then they had this nice sauce that you poured over top of it and it was great. And then we had for the first, I've had, I think for the first time in 20 years, I had a, a Mexican fried ice cream and um, it was absolutely fantastic. So if you're in the Polaris area, we went there this past weekend. Uh, it was absolutely wonderful. You should definitely give it a try. Definitely, if you like pork tamales, definitely try the pork tamales. The double decker, I think they have it labeled as a chalupa, but the double decker, you get three tacos and the taco meat, sometimes it can get salty, 
um, the ground meat, but this was just absolutely just perfect. Just the right amount of seasoning. Everything was really good. The place was great. You should definitely go there. And I hopefully they will succeed with uh, Chase being in that area as well. But so it's right behind the Krispy Kreme donuts that are on Polaris Parkway. So visit, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Now, now I'll close up. Now I've had something to talk about that's a little bit more fun. Uh, <laughs> have a great day. I hope, I hope it's a good one and I will talk to you tomorrow. We'll have some key lime pie coffee. Bye.